call Gareth Hughes. Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Na mihi nui kia koutou kia ora. I rise to take a call on the copyright infringing file sharing amendment bill. I want to apologise to the House firstly. I've got a cold and I'm slowly losing my voice. <laughs> uh, I want to acknowledge the, 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 the hard work of the select committee members. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I might be a geek but not the type that can fix your computer. Uh, ICT is one of my 11 portfolios, uh, so I've got a bundle. Uh, and I don't, to be honest, have a huge history of looking into tech or copyright issues. Uh, but I just want to acknowledge I really did uh, enjoy hearing the submissions on this bill uh, and learning more. Mr Speaker, I love New Zealand music, I love New Zealand film, and I want these artists to make a fair living through their art. I want to thank all the submitters. Uh, the message I heard from them was clear, and that's why the Green Party will be opposing this bill tonight, because we have always opposed and we continue to oppose termination or account suspension as a remedy for file infringing whenever it's written into legislation. Even if not immediately enacted, it shouldn't be there full stop. The Green Party also opposed the use of urgency tonight to pass all stages of this bill through the House with no warning that it was coming. Mr Speaker, tonight I want to touch a little on my personal reflections on the Select Committee process. I want to highlight the improvements because there were some made in the Select Committee and lastly the reasons why the Green Party will be opposing this bill tonight. Without any technical background except maybe website surfing, gaming and no doubt unintentionally listening to pirated material, I went to the Select Committee to hear submissions on the bill. I went in with an open mind and I met with both sides of the debate outside the room. In my first reading speech, Mr Speaker, I focused on how the internet has built connections, increased global communications, contributed to more collaborative ways of working and how it had revolutionised business and the global economy. The internet has unleashed fantastic creativity from the arts to academia, academia from business uh, and, however, making a business out of creativity is in some cases not viable because of illegal file sharing. The Green Party did support this bill in its first reading, stating, while we didn't think it would solve all the problems, it may play part of the solution, and we looked forward to hearing more in the Select Committee. The Green Party thinks the current bill is significantly better than its predecessor, the Draconian Section 92A, put forward by Labour under the last term. This bill repeals the existing Section 92A legislation and replaces it with a notice-on-notice -notice system which copyright holders can then use to go to an ISP uh, who has the power to ultimately go to the tribunal to ask for penalties for repeated copyright infringement. I think it's important to remind this House that the Green Party was the only party to oppose the Section 92A nonsense at every stage, uh, and we offered amendments in an attempt to fix it. Mr Speaker, I want to acknowledge there were significant improvements made in the Select Committee to this bill. Changes such as clearing up the definition of ISPs and excluding universities, limiting the scope to only file sharing technology, not one-offs from email or websites, and amending rules so ISPs are no longer required to consider whether to accept, reject or refer on challenges to rights holders. All challenges now get passed on to the right holder. It's good to see there is a supplementary order paper by Minister Power on the table addressing the section 122 MA, the guilt on accusation section. However, the financial damages do include a punitive element and are not merely compensatory. This is especially important in New Zealand, where often we're at the end of the US or European-based supply chains. We can wait months or sometimes years to get access to content which is freely available overseas. Introducing a compensatory penalty, or more controversially, Mr Speaker, a zero-dollar penalty for infringing against international products that aren't available in New Zealand may have actually encouraged rights holders to provide digital content sooner to Kiwis. Mr Speaker, internet account suspension as a remedy for file sharing was the big issue in the Select Committee and the one that many submitted on. Opposition to termination was clear from independent groups and consumers, as was the desire to wave this termination stick by rights holders. The key question on the committee was, was suspension of a person's internet account for copyright infringement a needed deterrent tool which would, however unlikely, actually be used by copyright holders, or was it actually an ineffective tool, or as David Farrar put it, an unproportional response and a bad precedent? In the end, the Select Committee reached a compromise whereby termination was drafted into law as a remedy, but only available if the Minister enacted it in the termination clause. Mr Speaker, I like compromise and the idea of parties working together towards a solution, so I was initially very keen on it. But in the end, after really searching within myself, 
I came to the conclusion there was no way Parliament should be drafting into law something so disproportionate to the problem it causes that will not stop the pirating of copyright material which could take away people's access to the internet, which in today's wide world is, a, I believe, a human right. We should remember that file infringing is a civil offence, not a criminal offence. Often people are sharing files because they simply aren't available in New Zealand because of the antiquated distribution system of the global behemoths who use it to extract as much profit as possible. We should also remember net profits have increased in the digital age for many film and music industry players and only certain distribution channels have dropped precariously. Ultimately, Mr Speaker, I think termination should never, ever be written into legislation and we believe it sets a bad precedent, is disproportionate to the problem and will not solve the issue. The Green Party asserts there is danger in heavy-handed regulation for a problem which may only be temporary as the result of new technologies upsetting traditional business models. The use of fines rather than internet suspension is a more appropriate sanction for file sharing and I believe punishment should be proportionate to the offence. Citizens are not denied the right to use their telephones because it happened to be used in the commission of a crime, and this legislation should not set any precedent. Access to the internet has become a necessity in an era when more and more public services are provided only online. An additional risk from the select committee's compromise is that far from a compromise, it is likely just a delay, and we cannot support this being written into law. The compromise deal reached to secure the Labour Party's support was to avoid responsibility and pass the decision on to the Minister. Parliament should be the determiner of this, not the current or a future Minister, no matter how well intentioned their comments. The Minister, who obviously supported termination in the original bill, will now likely face an intense lobbying push by rights holders to have the stick and wave it at Kiwis as soon as they can. As the Creative Freedom Foundation have pointed out, this isn't a solution. In fact, it's a massive problem because there's no government statistics about infringing internet downloading in New Zealand and the decision would be made on lobbying and internet termination will be enabled in Cabinet, not in this debating chamber. So in summary, Mr Speaker, the Green Party thinks this bill is significantly better than its predecessor. We're glad to see the changes in the Select Committee. And we're happy that there is a compromise in the Select Committee that termination will not be enacted immediately. However, we believe it is just a delay and we cannot support termination being written into law. We support the three strikes notice on notice system and believe notices and fines will be sufficient. Research commissioned by the New Zealand Federation Against Copyright Theft found that a notice from the ISP would be enough to stop 71% of New Zealand young people further accessing illegal copies of digital files. We support Kiwi rights holders and Kiwi artists, and we think the use of notices and fines rather than internet suspension is a more appropriate and proportionate sanction for file sharing. Access to the internet is vital for engaging with our modern world, and the Green Party will have no part in legislating this away from the people. Kia ora. Ko rahui